Shocker, guys. Shocker. The Marvels is the MCU's most disliked trailer on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But of course, it's only because of trolls, you know. Well, yeah, because Rolling Stone's going to tell you. You know, just just say you hate women and leave, mm -hmm. honestly. Just say you hate women. But what if, if I, what if I'm a woman? Leave. Yeah, they, they keep doing this. They keep saying you say he, because they, they just boil it down to the most moronic argument they can make. Ugh, man, bad. And it's like, but a lot of people oh, who don't, a lot of people who don't like it aren't men. So now you're a misogynist, Rolling Stone, because you're you are you are just, you know taking it upon yourself to identify everyone and label them as something that to, so you can put it in your tiny little head and make it make sense. But not everyone falls in that category. Man bad, man bad. All right, so we're gonna talk about this. Of course, the media is gonna run with this. We wondered how long it was gonna take. It took a couple of days, and I think they're actually creaming themselves over this. I think they're like. Oh, good. Now we've got more Captain Marvel hit pieces we can write. Mm -hmm. They were they were just chomping at the bit. They could not wait for this to happen. They knew it was going to happen, so they just kind of hung back and be like, Yeah, and of course, it's all men. It's yep, always men. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about the hatred, the online hatred. I'm seeing a lot of apathy, personally. But before you get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, Geeky will give you a woohoo if you subscribe. Woohoo! There's your woohoo, so you better have hit the button because she already gave you the woohoo. So yeah, if you go out to YouTube now and you use the plugin that shows you the downvotes, 467,000 upvotes to 540,000 downvotes. And now places like Rolling Stone are gonna say it's just man baby trolls. Okay, here's the thing. Do I think people are deliberately downvoting this, this trailer? Yes. Do I think people are deliberately upvoting the trailer in response to people downvoting to make sure like my side wins? Hell yes. So they're the same coin, different sides. The breeze, the breeze stands. Right. So I'm like, how, you, you can't say, well, they're downvoting it all on purpose in one breath, but all these upvotes are real on the other because that's disingenuous. So my thing is like, if this is just about hating women, how come we didn't have this conversation about Black Widow? How come we didn't have this conversation about Scarlet Witch? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there were some other things that came up, but like it's mostly been bad female characters. It's been the conversation around Captain Marvel, which was blown way out of proportion by the media because the media is basically just using her as like, you just hate women. You just hate. Hey, you would for every character. Like, you know, if you don't like Ray, it's because you hate women. If you don't like, you know, insert whatever franchise it's, it's that, that they all put a woman in charge of for no reason, you just hate women. But never mind the fact that a lot of women don't like it either. Yeah. So Rolling Stone just hates women. <laughs> so we're going to talk. Remember when Rolling Stone stayed in their lane and they just talked about music and albums and stuff, mm -hmm. not politics, not this shit. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's talk about this article as Brie Larson's The Marvels already has MCU fanboys and their feelings. Just say you hate women and leave. Say you hate women. And I mean, like, the tra first thing I noticed in the trailer was they made the don't tell me to smile comment. That's the first thing I noticed. Yeah. And that was before they had articles about it and everything else. We noticed that the, right after it released, that when the trailer released, picked that up immediately. This is, I, I am 100% convinced this is part of the marketing. It's the same mentality behind She-Hulk where they went out of their way to antagonize fans because they knew it would generate buzz and interaction. I don't know why they're, they're in decline. I could not figure it out at all. Why are people leaving? Yeah, why are people leaving the MCU? Why are they quitting? What got me was, we saw the trailer, and and besides the fact they made, they had to get that dig in there, and I was like, oh, for heaven's sakes. You, you tell me you're being petty without, you know, and it, obviously it bothers you or you wouldn't keep making the dig. But the other thing that got me was they pushed this thing back many times and as far back as they pushed it you're expecting these amazing effects to be like for this thing must be phenomenal to when you see it and then you see the trailer and you're like why did it get delayed so many times because it's i'm not seeing it. it it just looks like it, an episode of ms marvel on yeah disney it just plus. looks like a disney it, plus episode yeah it doesn't look anything special um you know what's interesting is like of all the comments all the downvotes and there are thousands and thousands and thousands of comments this person's like but on YouTube, the official upload from Marvel has been hit by over 300,000 dislikes and thousands of copy pasta comments. A popular way to Wait. spam content and drown out positive replies. Okay, are they, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Here's the thing though. There have been people putting up pictures of the copy pasta comments on the other side too. Yes. So again, if you're going to Rolling Stone, here's this thing called critical thinking. I, I'm, I'm sure it's something that's very foreign to you, um, but I'm gonna give you a little lesson here. When you're looking at it, you have to look at both sides 
Um, you can't just look at your side, and that's what people like you do. Um, clearly, because you only, because according to you, only men hate it. Um, but when you look at both sides of it, and and if it, it cause and effect, if one side is being like you know voted one way, the other side to, to especially in this polarizing is going to go the other way to do the same thing. And if there are going to be copy pasta, what you call it, copy pasta comments, and you're only looking at those in the negative, I am telling you, hundred percent certainty, there are a bunch of them on the sides. Given that, yeah, yay, go them comments too. So if you're going to argue one side, you have to acknowledge the other. There is a there is a very small group of people on both sides making this a battleground. And let's be honest, because most people don't give a shit. That's the takeaway. That was actually my takeaway from it. Was at first there wasn't much of a. No, like it wasn't nobody, until they decided to fight the down vote to up vote ratio. Yeah, and they know this. They know they've got the breeze stands. They know so this is this is an artificial situation. I believe the whole situation is artificial. Um, because it said in comparison, Morbius, which had a male lead, was only disliked on YouTube eleven thousand times because nobody cared. Yeah, but how many? Okay, but how many likes and dislikes or views did the trailer even get? Not very many because nobody cared. Right. So I'm saying you have to take everything into context. When this trailer first dropped, and we did a video when it first dropped, it did not gain traction right away. It only had a few thousand views right away. It, it wasn't doing very well. People hadn't discovered it yet. And again, this is part of the marketing. They went out of their way to antagonize in the trailer. You know, you better don't tell me not to smile. Yeah, you better, see, they, they had yeah. done that. Okay, I, I don't think, I don't really care about this movie. I'm just not gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I really have no desire to see it. However, that being said, I don't think it was really pushing narrative or anything that too much. But until they did that, if they hadn't done that, I don't think that you could. It could be argued they were pushing a narrative too much, but the fact that you did that just to bait people, and it was obvious that I think that you know that's what got people. Yeah, and of all the comments, of all the comments, this person said, "What a piece of crap." This person said, "Captain feminist in the patriarchy stone." Woo! These are these are brain trusts here. Marvel and Disney has gone off the deep end once again. It seems Disney is willing to decimate and destroy anything we remember about Marvel Comics just to push the narrative. Those are some scathing comments. Well, there are a lot of people comments. complaining about how the characters were not like the comics. And I'm like... Ms. Marvel, especially. I, I know. And people were like, like, where have you been? Everybody's been complaining about that. But Oh, but it's different now because you're the one complaining about it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. When it's, when it's you, you know, you, you get a pass. These bloggers, these fake geek bloggers didn't even know that Monica Rambeau was technically the first female Captain Marvel. And that go went back to the 1980s. They were shocked. And then they kind of buried it. They're kind of like... Oh, well, it kind of goes against the narrative to uh, say, hey, that Captain Marvel, black Captain Marvel was leading the Avengers at the same time Storm was leading the X-Men in the mid-1980s. Hmm. No, because the Disney invented diversity. <laughs> um, look, this is, I love this. This isn't Larson's first time to leave with these man children for checks notes doing her contractually obligated job. This also isn't the first time Rolling Stone likes to, to blame man children for everything because they have no other argument and they actually they can't actually present a real argument. What 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 reasoning do you have that every comment that's negatively left was a was a man? For where where are you identifying this? Because your username doesn't say if you're a man or woman. So how do you know? That every comment left is a man child. How you know every comment left was a from a dude? How you know it wasn't a non-binary person? You know, oh, what if you're mis what if you're misgendering them? Mo Rolling Stones misgendering people. Rotten Tomatoes had to update its entire policy in an attempt to prevent angry male fans from review bombing the film before anybody saw it. Rotten Tomatoes, uh, the head of Rotten Tomatoes is a former Disney guy. I guarantee you, Disney called them up and said, "Hey." Could you change the policy because these people are review bombing well, the movie? I'm confused. How can it be a vocal minority of toxic, you know, man babies? Because not all fans are toxic man babies. It's just a small group. Yeah. Yet that that they're the sole reason why everything gets changed because there's so many of them. It can't be both ways, Rolling Stone. God, critical thinking. Uh, so here's where the proof is going to be in the pudding. The proof is going to be in the pudding. Whiny pushback hasn't prevented some fans from looking forward to Larson's upcoming film. The Marvel's teaser trailer has been viewed 13 million times and currently is the number two trending video on YouTube. Yeah, because people are on it to, to, to vote it up or down and leave comments. Maybe that will give MCU fanboys something more concrete to cry over. But it's only trending because everybody's on it to click up yes. or vote down votes. It's, it's not trending because yes. people give a shit. This is the most disingenuous load of shit I've ever seen. And I love this too. Like, but people, they keep saying about Larson. You you do know that she's not the star, the only person in the movie. That's why she was pissed, apparently. Yeah. She's not the only character. She shares the spotlight with three. It's called the Marvels. Not Brie Larson, not Captain Marvel. Marvels. 
Okay, so why why is your assumption automatically is about Brie Larson? Maybe people don't like the other characters. Well, they bring that up too. They're like, they just they just hate uh, you know Monica Rambeau, and they just hate. Oh you know, right, non-white right, right. Women. Because if you don't like, if it's not Brie Larson, it's because you're obviously a racist. Um, actually, Monica Rambeau. A lot of people they brought up when the first movie came out. A lot of old heads like myself. They're like, should have been Monica. She should have been the first captain. Everybody kept saying it, but you're just racist. You're just racist. This is a ridiculously lame article by Rolling Stone. I wouldn't expect anything less because Rolling Stone is pretty much a joke anymore. Um, This is the only way they get views. But this is bullshit. I'm tired of it. I'm so tired of it. People don't like what I like, so they obviously have to be white straight men. Yeah, they're like, um, for further context, the divisive She-Hulk series drew 786,000 likes, 553,000 dislikes. Uh, they said it's not as if things look much brighter for the Marvels and other parts of the world. The Marvels official channels for Latin America, Spain, and Indonesia show a far worse reception than the main. Oh, video. oh, but they're not white. That's right. Uh, you're gonna call them racist? Oh, but they're all men too, right? Because don't you know that there's only men in the world? When, oh, well, that's not true. Every woman in the world likes agrees with you, but all the men are the ones that don't. So this is interesting. This is coming from Game Rant. I've noticed that Game Rant. And even, is it trying to start critical thinking? Yes. Um, and I think they're getting away from a lot because now they're like, yeah, it's undeniable at this point. Why are the Marvels getting such negative feedback already? Well, some might point to it being a symptom of a future review bombing. The truth is that even Ms. Marvel's trailer debut kept up with the MCU's overwhelmingly positive welcome from fans. The Ms. Marvel trailer was well-liked. I do remember. People mm-hmm. thought it was fun. Actually... Everybody likes the other two Marvels. They just don't like Captain Marvel. They don't like Brie Larson. Mm -hmm. The other two characters, the actresses that play them, seem like they're genuinely nice people. And I think they do a good job with the characters. We could argue whether or not, you know, those characters should be put front and center in the MCU, whatever. But I think the kid that plays Ms. Marvel and the girl plays uh, Maka Rambeau, I think are both pretty decent. They seem like nice people. People don't like Brie Larson. That's what this is. Yeah, and they don't like Brie Larson. People don't like the media. Well, there's spin a lot of people who don't like Brie Larson because they still never got over the fact that she showed NFTs. Oh yeah, I forgot and, about that. And they weren't all. They were a lot of them are women. Um, maybe they're review bombing it because they are still pissed at her about NFTs. Yeah. So w- what's going on here? If if they were happy with Monica Rambeau in WandaVision and they were happy with Ms. Marvel in Ms. Marvel what's causing all the consternation? It's Brie Larson and Captain Marvel and, and the whole thing. To make the yeah. argument it's only men is is so disingenuous, so unrealistic and so stupid. And it's also misogynistic. So fuck wow. you. This is this is crazy. This is this is not what would have been written a couple of years ago. Um they said it's hard to say the Marvel's teaser looks terrible. However, by the same measure, there's nothing truly yes, remarkable I about agree it. That. I don't think it's the worst thing. I think it looks as bad as I expected, but I wasn't like, oh, yay. Yeah, l- look, it, it's a very mid looking movie. It, it looks like an episode of one of their shows. It doesn't look like a movie. It looks like a team up episode of Ms. Marvel. It looks like a teaser for one of their series on Disney Plus. Um, so, yeah, they're going to keep spinning this story. And we knew it was going to happen. We said in the very first video it was going to happen that. It's going to get downvoted, and then the story is going to be, oh, it's all the bigots and the haters. Actually, I'll tell you the truth. The hardcore bigoted, quote unquote, I'm using air quotes here, the hardcore bigoted Marvel Comics fans, they checked out. Yeah, they don't They're care. They're done with the MCU. They don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. They've moved on. I've moved on. I don't care. So what's your excuse going to be when it doesn't do well? Or Because I don't think Disney has the money this time to buy empty theater, buy theaters out with empty seats or bust people in, you know, with free They were tickets. busting people into Captain Marvel. Yeah. Um they deliberately put this movie between two other major releases during the crowded holiday season. It's uh, between Dune 2 and The oh, Hunger, Hunger Games, Games prequel. Both of those movies are going to do very well, I'm sure. And they're going to blame, oh, macroeconomic circuit or, oh, all the hatred online tank. The-. See, they're not going to be able to hide this like they did with She-Hulk. They can't hide the numbers because it's going to the theater. Or they might decide, hey, guys. Oh, hey, for Disney Plus subscribers, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do you a favor, and we're just gonna release this on Disney Plus. Well, they're not going to day and digital, whatever. All right. You know, they're they've already got an excuse. I guarantee you, somewhere in the mouse works, somebody already has an excuse ready because they know this movie is gonna massively underperform. If Ant Man with Kang, which leads directly into Secret Wars. Massively underperformed. This shit's yeah. gonna be terrible. It's gonna. Now be they're terrible. saying Guardians of the Galaxy three, which is one I thought would do 
half decent is going to underperform compared to two. Yeah, that's so, that's not good because two came out like five years ago. Yeah, this is so good. it's not a good situation. Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.